So today we are going to be unboxing and installing the UltraGuard from Smart Solutions. So let's get the box open and see what's in it and what it's going to take to put it on the truck. Okay, so now that we've got it out of the box, this is the UltraGuard by Smart Solutions. Um, I got it on Amazon and it was about a hundred and maybe a hundred and ten dollars cheaper than some other ones that I saw or even the same things I saw on uh, eBay. Uh, so I went with this. Uh, one thing that I noticed right out of the box, uh, actually that I'm disappointed in, it says that the mat is or the guard is pre-drilled and there's no holes along the top here that are already pre-drilled so we're gonna have to drill our own. Another thing that it doesn't come with um, is the uh, piece of angle iron that goes behind here. You have to purchase that separately. Uh, you can purchase it from the company, you can get it on Amazon, uh, but it was like $54 for that piece of um, one by one uh, 3 16 angle and you can get a piece of that at the local hardware store or, or a Home Depot for about 14 bucks. So I figured I'd just save it and uh, uh, and just buy it local. So the guard itself is 3 8 three eighths inch thick uh, heavy duty rubber. Uh, it does come with some aluminum plates that will go on to the mat itself and again not pre-drilled holes for that so i guess if you don't want to put them on you don't have to but uh, it would have been nice for them to at least drill the holes so that you can put those things on uh, and then it's got some self-adhesive uh, reflectors i don't know why they wouldn't have just put holes in these so that you could just bolt both of those on at the same time but evidently you're supposed to stick those on separately so you got two of those and two reflectors. Uh, actually, this would be cool if they were lights. I might have to look into putting, making these lights since I gotta put it together myself anyway. This one's actually different. Um, the, these are your piece of angle iron. It actually did come with the angle iron. You're supposed to bolt it together and then, then that'll be long enough for your, for your, uh, your mat. Uh, it comes with two brackets, uh, one for each size of your truck hitch uh, or your trailer hitch or uh, motorhome hitch. So I'll have to see which one will fit. Probably the bigger one will fit on it. And then it comes with a bag of hardware. Uh, it's got a bunch of, a whole bunch of nylock nuts and uh, lock nuts, washers. Pretty sure they're not stainless steel. Uh, it does have a little pocket here so you can cut this piece out to get it through your so you can have access to your uh, hitch pin your safety chains and things like that i'll probably end up be, uh, doing that uh, because i want to permanently mount this um, some people will oh that's what the smaller one's for it's to mount it onto the hitch so you mount it right onto the hitch and then you can pull the hitch out and the the guard will come out i'm going to permanently mount it to my um, to the actual hitch on the truck so that I can take the ball out and and that still be there. I don't want to have my ball out there uh, when I'm pulling a fifth wheel or a gooseneck or something along those lines. So I won't be mounting it with this one. I'll be mounting it so that it doesn't come off unless I unbolt it and take it off for some reason. Uh, next step is to set up with our angle iron and then drill all the holes, figure out how we want to mount it, and uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I got it all installed. Now, like I said earlier, it was disappointing that these holes weren't pre-drilled. Um, it would have been nice if they were already pre-drilled. It wasn't a big deal to drill through them. I do have a drill bit around here somewhere that is designed to cut through this thick rubber. It's actually designed to go through um, snowmobile tracks so you can install studs. Uh, some of you southern people don't know what a snowmobile is. That's okay. It's like a jet ski, but for the winter. But 
Uh, so I drilled through, got that all mounted. Um, I mounted mine permanently. Uh, you can choose to do it differently. You can mount it onto the hitch or you can mount it loose on the hitch so you can take it out. A couple of reasons I wanted to mount it permanently. Uh, the first one is so I just don't have to worry about it. It's just always there. I don't have to ever remember to put it on or whatever. I also don't have to find a place to store it. You know, in the bed or wherever, you don't have to find a place to put it, especially if it's all covered in ice or, or uh, mud or whatever. Um, so I decided to put it on so that it's just always there. I ended up cutting a little bit larger. It gives you a kind of a notch about this wide area that you can cut out. It's already marked for you. Um, I decided to cut it a little bit bigger. That allows me to get to my plug and get my safety chains on there and still get to um, my breakaway loop right here. Uh, I have another one on this side here too, but um, but it allows me to do all that and not have to worry about it. So I can, I can take my hitch out. I don't wanna be driving around with my uh, weight distribution in if I'm pulling a fifth wheel. So this is the way that I decided to do it my, uh, myself. Mounted it onto the top of the hitch I did end up having just enough clearance to make it across there. It just clears the bumper all the way across and then goes out. Um, and it hangs down and it's about four inches, maybe four and a half inches from the ground. Uh, so it worked out actually uh, uh, really good. Uh, pretty happy with it, it's pretty solid. I've been on the highway with it already and, uh, and it didn't really go anywhere. Um, I elected not to put the reflectors in little stainless steel strips. I might go with a, actually an LED bar that goes across there um, to make it a, a, a light up kind of thing. I, I just don't know yet. Right now I'm just leaving the stainless steel strips. But other than that, all in all, pretty happy with it. It was easy to install. And um, double check if you're buying one of these because it says that it doesn't include this piece here, this angle, uh, the angle iron that goes across there, but it did. Uh, even in my, uh, where I was buying it on Amazon, uh, it said it didn't include this, but it came, it's a three piece thing and it bolts together. Oops, sorry. And then it bolts to the top of, let's see if I can get it in there. Uh, hang on, so I had to flip the camera the other way, but it's got down in there, it's got four bolts with uh, nylocks on it that hold it on. So, so you have the bar that goes across here and it's sitting all the weight right on top of the hitch. And then you got the bracket that comes down and around and comes up on this side and it's bolted on. So all the weight of the mud flap itself is being supported by the hitch. And it, you can mount it the other way where it's hanging from the bottom of the hitch but then all the weight of the mud flap and the flexing and stuff is all taken by uh, this bracket here. Um, just depends on how tall your vehicle is. You might have to mount it upside down or you might not have any clearance right here to get it in there. And because uh, you got to get it, you know, down here, I think it's like five or six inches off the ground uh, is the maximum. So all in all, really happy with it. If you got something good out of this video, click the like button, click the subscribe button, leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And as always, have safe travels and I hope to see you on the road.